Yo, what is up guys, JD Zero bringing you another Rage Quick Battle. Uh, it's, this, it's, it's part 3 and uh, I was trying to get a battle. I, I was trying to record and got a couple of interference during the time of doing the recording. So I was able to like be truly focused on the battle because there are so many interference back and forth, back and forth. So, you know, getting annoyed as always. As to right now, as the dog barks on and on and on and on and on, oh, then there's nothing I can do. So, we get a battle from South Korea. Interesting. Oh, just five months? Okay. Uh. I'm guessing it's gonna be Blaziken. So I'm kinda leaning off to start off with Marshadow. Cause if it's a uh, Blaziken Lee, Marshadow is the victor of this situation. It's not technically the victor of the situation, but I will say semi victor of the situation. Now, Here's the thing, he could go for whatever move. Like, he could get a speed boost, right? There is that factor of him getting a speed boost. I could go for a bulk up, because he's going to go for a protect. Uh, I don't think I generally naturally outspeed a blaziken I, I mean i outspeed a blaziken but mega blaziken i don't think i'll be able to outspeed depending on how fast the blaziken is so for me to actually get a um an actual you know whatever boost off of the blaziken you know that's that's it you know I don't. I, I feel like I could take a hit from a Blaziken, but I don't know. Okay, so I did get the boost. I do outspeed it for the first move. He does not go. That's wild. He did not go. And he still was able to get the speed boost. That's crazy. I could go for Spectral Thief, but I don't think I'll be able to. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Well, I still his speed, his speed boost. Spectral Thief does go off. I am taking it out, one way or another. That is crazy. I was expecting a protect, but smart play. Smart play. He could have got. He could have gotten two speed boosts, but that ends up not happening. That's crazy. Sends out the Rayquaza. Okay. And I'm guessing this is probably Mega Rayquaza. So, I mean, I don't think he. I think he can't Mega still. So what I want to go for is do Spectral Thief because that's the only effective move, strong enough move to take on a Rayquaza and I don't think it could make it evolve since it was already there was already one Pokemon Mega Evolving. He is gonna go for its uh move here. It is super effective. I'm surprised. Cause it's flying so that makes sense that it's super effective. But overall that's one Pokemon down. Now I have a choice to pit in Shimon Sky. Shimon Sky should take this interesting interesting play here and be able to take it out with an uh, air slash and that's down the Rayquaza so I was able to take out the blaze again I was able to take out his Rayquaza now Mewtwo comes into play what is up with all these shiny Mewtwo's jeez Uh, we're gonna go ahead and air slash and it avoids the 
air slash. Oh my gosh, why? Why did this Mewtwo avoid the air slash? Okay, it did a lot. We need to get air slash off and do some damage and flinch it as well on top of that. There you go. So it's either gonna stay, it's either gonna let this play through, it's gonna let it play through. I was able to lend the secondary air slash, taking out the Mewtwo. So, GG. Could have had me there, could have had me there. Still kind of mad, but hey, could have had me there. Well, I'm not mad about the battle, I'm just kind of more mad about, you know, people or interfering with the recording, trying to get the recording up, trying to do this, do that, and everything went to full. So, hey, it is what it is. What It is what it is. It is what it is. We're gonna back out. We're gonna go back in. So, that's what I'm kind of doing now is to, uh, for, like, the battle, for, like, continuing the battle for the battle spot, is to back out and go back in because it doesn't search up the matches when you continue and you just wait there and wait there forever so it's kind of annoying and it's like I don't want to wait there and wait for a battle and it takes forever so we got another person from Japan well we got a, a person from Japan we got one from South Korea and now we got one from Japan so this is, looks like a very good uh, team here where I don't need a uh, Marshadow to play a part in here. So that's a good thing. That is a good thing where I don't need to have Marshadow to deal with Blaziken on here. I feel like that's the only coverage right there is having Marshadow for Blaziken. Because that's that type coverage right there. So we lead off with the Shaman's Guy. Leads off with the Skeptile. She leads off with a Skeptile. Uh, I could go for the Air Slash. It is super effective. This might be able to one shot because it's choice specs. If it doesn't, oh well. I do outspeed the Skeptile Mega Evolution. I probably don't outspeed. Let's just see what happens. I do outspeed. I do land an air slash off. It's still a super effective move. That is a guaranteed one shot. Yeah. Choice specs guarantee the one shot from from Shaman Sky, so ah. now what can this person do? Tapu Coco. I have a problem with you, Tapu Coco. I really do. And it's because you have this electric terrain that kinda just makes you speedy as heck. Uh, we're gonna go ahead still go with the air slash. We still outspeed Tapu Coco, so that's good. All we need to do is flinch you. Does not flinch. Oh my gosh. Goes for an aerial ace. Aerial ace does a pretty good amount, not too much. Going for another air slash. This time, hopefully, Shaman Sky does flinch. Yep, there we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Go again. See if it flinches. Forfeits the match! So our second match, we got a forfeit. Our second match, we got a forfeit. Didn't like the fact that I flinched it, and we got a forfeit match here. Nice. Nice. One of our first forfeit matches in the second round. So that's good. That's good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and quit. We're gonna go ahead and go back into it. So we win a match by just winning, and then we uh, won by forfeit. Awesome, our first forfeit match. So uh, again, like I said in the last two videos, where we're gonna do like at least a get about four matches. And that the fourth match is just the last match afterwards. 
but yeah we're just having four matches in a video that's pretty much what we're doing so we got the first two done and out of the way now we gotta go to the third match here so hopefully the third match is gonna be a very good and interesting match if if I could find the match <laughs> And we got dogs still barking out there. I don't know why the dog the dog wants to bark this moment, but we're trying to have a battle, we're trying to find the battle. The pony is taking forever to find. Come on, battle spot. Why? Why? Why are you in this situation where I just back out and I just re-enter you? And then you not finding a match. And you not finding a match. Wow. That's crazy. So we wait. We we'll wait. And there we go. Couldn't find the match. Got us waiting here, and it's like 11 minutes into the video, so we're just trying to like find our third match here and proceed forward to our fourth, too. So, hopefully, this time it doesn't happen again. And while we choose our music, there we go back onto the Kanto Battle theme. Another person from South Korea. So we were able to get a South, someone from South Korea and then someone from Japan. Now we're getting someone from South Korea again. Interesting. For a third match. That's interesting. Mmm. Mmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. You need to start adding like a mohawk feature on here for our characters. I would like to come out with a frohawk on one of my characters. Or a frohawk or a mohawk, either or. That would be cool to add that into the game itself. Leads off with the rushing room. So that rushing room seems to be uh, probably me probably being faster. We'll see once we uh, select our moves. I'm pretty sure I'm probably faster still, but the leadoff was him. Nah, I'm faster. I don't know why, but usually I kind of looked at it as, as me being faster. Blue fire, blue fire does KO. Oh my gosh, Shaman Sky. I'm so sorry. So sorry. I'm not gonna summon out any other Pokemon but Toge Kids because. Blue fire is a thing. Blue fire is a thing. One of the fastest things in a known. Blue fire is a thing. Okay, so we're able to get the air sash off. Still be able to outspeed Pogo. What the initial? Okay. Well. Wasn't expecting to not flinch his Pokemon, but kind of triggered. <laughs> I was like, I don't need to be triggered, but you know, hey, all right, all right, he burnt me too. All right, all right, all right. That's kind of triggering. That's kind of triggering. Interesting, but triggering at the same time. I'm guessing this is thus main uh, Necrozma, but it could be Ultra Burst Necrozma. So let's just see what happens if it Ultra Burst or not, you know? Because if it Ultra Burst, then that's how I know. Plenty, please. Sun Still Strike, okay. So I'm assuming that is not Ultra Burst. I'm assuming it's not Ultra Burst, but it could be Ultra Burst. It could still be Ultra Burst and it just hits 
like a truck still so we're gonna go ahead go into Jirachi uh, I do outspeed this Necrozma but overall the only issue I have is ultra okay see I knew it I just knew it it's one of those things where it's ultra bursting so ultra burst Necrozma still will lead off with the iron head iron head should flinch it it does not flinch it he's able to get a nice slash off nice slash gets it to one crit that crit did kind of matter not gonna lie that crit did matter they actually almost killing it off that's crazy mm -mm -mm, that is crazy I'm, I'm kind of like hella mad that I have not flinched any mods. It's like, again, like I said, 60%, 60 percentage of it should be able to flinch any Pokemon. This is the primal ground on. Okay. I might actually lose this match, guys. But hey, overall, it was a good match for the opponent <laughs> let's just say that it was like overall it was a good match for the opponent not a good match for me because apparently none of my mods wanted to flinch for some reason even though it had that 60% chance to flinch you know like serene grace gives it an extra 30 so it's supposed to be able to flinch that 60% chance of flinching like it's doing right now where it's able to at least flinch off this mon so it's like okay well should be able to flinch right should be able to flinch right you know it's guaranteed to always flinch right not all the time so gg gg to this person for the surviving and i just like again this match kind of went into his favor because my mods weren't trying to flinch at all I don't know what the problem was at the last moment of time that he needs to actually do the job of flinching hey hey it's when what can you do so that was our third match our third match we're like 17 minutes in we're gonna get our third we are, we are gonna get our fourth match in let's do that go through the free battle again Overall, it's not it's not that bad. Overall, it's not that bad. We did pretty good. We did pretty good for at least the first two matches. Third match, kind of just, uh, you know, we was able to get like one one forfeit. That's fine. So we're getting someone from Japan. It's cool, it's cool. So that's two for two. In my book, it's two for two. Uh, I kind of want to go in with uh, Metaweta and try to go for some interesting setups with that. But I'm going to stick in with uh, Jirachi being our last slot, our third member party. Um,. Overall, for our fourth, our fourth match is someone from Japan, so we kind of had it split from being two from South Korea and then now two from Japan. So that's cool. It's not too bad. It's not too shabby. Just waiting for our opponent to finish choosing their mons against my team, and we should be getting this battle started soon. Okay, awesome. This is going to be a difficult battle. If, see, this is the thing. It's going to be a difficult battle if my Pokemon do, doesn't do their job. That's how I see it. If my Pokemon doesn't do their job, then I'll be like, okay, you know, you triggered me. You didn't trigger the opponent, you triggered me. My own Pokemon triggered me instead of them triggering the, po the opponent. We're gonna go for the air slash because that is the most effective move against a grass slash steel type Pokemon. 
I mean, overall, I don't think Ferrothorn really has anything to, you know, use against me. Exactly what I said about none of my Pokemon wants to just do their job. Again, it's like 60% out of 50%, you know? You don't have that 100% types flinch, but again, you have that 60% chance to flinch. It's half of 50, you know? It's half of 100. It's a half of 100, you have a 50% chance of it either not going the way you want it, but you still have that 60% that ship allow you to do, it, you know? Or is it 40%? No, no, no. Well, yeah, in a way, it's 40%. You have the 40% of not chance, you know, not be able to flinch a Pokemon. Roughly, yeah, you will have a 40%. It is Choice Scarf Fire Fang. Oh my, and that Fire Fang did not do too much, but it did a pretty healthy amount of damage. Choice Scarf, that's interesting. You know what? I don't know if I want to bring any other Pokemon into this. I kind of just want to go ahead and stack off the Shaman Sky. Because knowing the fact that this thing outspeeds me is Choice Scarf. I do have a uh, Togekiss that does outspeed it. So that's a good thing. I'm pretty sure it's a good thing since I have Togekiss. Togekiss does out scarf it in that situation. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and still go with the air slash. What can this opponent do? It withdraws, goes into Tapu Lele. Now, Tapu Lele is not gonna really do anything to me that I'm truly truly worried about because again I do outspeed and I don't have any uh what you call it uh I forgot what the move set is called the uh I don't have any uh I'm trying to think of the word that I'm using I, I can't I can't think of it my my mind just go blank so we're able to flinch off and kill the top of lady so all he has to do is send back all she has to do is send back the uh, guard shop that again like I said probably does not outspeed me because I am choice scarf as well compared to it I do out I don't outspeed the guard shop How do I not outspeed the Garchomp? That's crazy. I was thinking, I was just like sitting here like, yeah, I should outspeed this Garchomp. You know? Oh, I don't outspeed the Garchomp. Great. So, Iron Tail... Iron Tail is not going to do anything. Yeah, it shouldn't do anything. I'm good. I'm good. Well, that sucks. I was hoping for like another forfeit and maybe rough skin does happen that's fine we were able to win the battle so that was two wins wait was it two wins no I think it was like what like at least three wins I think I had like at least three wins yeah I had three wins and then one loss that's not totally bad and I only only had one forfeit match so that's GG GG, uh, again, uh, if you want to, uh, I don't know where I was going with that, uh, make sure to check out the, the other two videos, uh, again, like I said, I have the first video up, and the second video should be up as well, definitely check that out, uh, see you guys, bye!